Welcome back to the Shreveport Connection with Tommy. And this is going to be about TNA results for this week and next week since they both uh, came up late this afternoon. Well, one of them came up late this afternoon, so I just waited until they posted the remaining for next week as well. And the results, well, uh, I'll wait and I'll give you some, some TNA news. Starting off with Jeff Hardy has debuted a new YouTube account. And his first entry, I will show you in just a second. And the cover for his new TNA one disc, best of Jeff Hardy DVD set, but the actual cover says volume two. And it is uh, out October 18th of this year. And here's a picture of it. All right. And I have two videos to show you, but first there's Jeff, Hart uh, Jeff Hardy's video from his new YouTube account. It's about two minutes and ten seconds long. Hey, we're here at the Hardy Plantation. Uh, this will be our first ever uh, video for Jeff Hardy's YouTube channel. This will be uh, uh, featuring uh, Juicer, his, his dogs, take two years old. Alright, guys, man, first ever YouTube entry for Jeff Hardy on this first ever channel. My man right here, Jushin, my uh, biggest dog, I'm about to try to take his hairs up against the extent of strength, kind of like that. <laughs> so, me and uh, Johnny's sister, the same for you, I'm going to try to tag him. So, check me out. Let me get him out of the locker room. Let's see him. Man. And I haven't seen him report anything for the Hardy Show lately. God, he's so big. There he is, man. All right, and that was it. That was uh, basically his in introduction to his new YouTube account. And now for some more news. Okay, Matt Hardy posted the following on his Twitter account, uh, I believe it was yesterday, to all the promoters that have contacted me about working for them. I just wanted to let you know I've kind of got everything on hold for now. I would greatly appreciate your patience in me taking bookings for now. Thanks. He added, I also want to thank all of my great family, friends, and fans that have helped me build me a Twitter following of 209,000 peeps. You guys are awesome. Hardy is currently suspended from TNA for arriving late to, late to many events, among other things, and it's indefinitely. 
Ring of Honor management are happy to announce that they have come to terms with Jay Lethal in his debut, and he is now officially under Ring of Honor contract. The former Ring of Honor Pure Champion was a part of Ring of Honor from 2003 to 2006, and in that time frame captured the Ring of Honor Pure title, contended for the Ring of Honor tag titles, and battled everyone from CM Punk to Samoa Joe to Christopher Daniels. Returning to the fold at Best in the World 2011, Lethal defeated the prodigy Mike Bennett and is now scheduled to challenge for the Ring of Honor World TV title against champion El Generico this Saturday night in Chicago, uh, Chicago Ridge, Illinois. Jay Lethal is a wrestler that the Ring of Honor fans have watched grow up right in front of their, of their eyes. And that was quoted by uh, Ring of Honor executive producer Jim Cornette. From his days with Special K to his battles over the pure title, Jay Lethal became a man in front of Ring of Honor fans, and now he's back in the Ring of Honor. We can all see, see how much of a fighter he, he has become. He's exciting to have the have him back, back here with us. And I, for one, look forward to seeing him and Generico go at it on the SBG TV. That's their new uh, network, I, I believe. Sinclair Broadcasting. I don't know what the G, I forgot what it stands for. Uh, tickets for, for that show are, were, on, were on sale. And he takes on Generico are still available at the Ring of Honor store. Go to rohstore.com slash index dot php question mark dispatch equals products dot view and product underscore id equals 201 pro wrestling syndicate would like to congratulate its ny state champion the new york state champion the premier athlete tony nice on signing a deal with tna wrestling nice will be in action for pws on saturday august the 20th at Center Island Sports on, two, uh, on 101 Union Avenue. And Ron Conco, I hope I pronounce this right, folks. Ron Concoma, New York, which is a long, in a Long Island area. As he defends his New York State title in a four-way dance against Amazing Red, who has uh, recently been released off the TNA roster, Azrael and Brian XL. And PWS announcer Larry Legend caught up with the uh, with Nice for his thoughts on the match, and I will play the video that he he did. And also appearing on the show will be Carlito versus Eddie Kingston, Lucifer, Darkside, with Spira, Andover, and Danny Demento. Sanjay Dutt will also be in action against Kevin Matthews with Alex Thatcher. A four-way elimination match with Psycho Sid, Devin Moore, or Devon Moore, Dan Mapp, and announced is a women's, uh, WSU women's match between Annie Social and Brittany Savage. And those that don't know, that don't know, Million Dollar Man has, a, is involved in this company as well. Tickets start at $20, they can be purchased at ProWrestlingSyndicate.com. And let me start, play the video, as you see they got the, the, I guess the guy in the suit is, is the Larry Legend, or we'll see in a video. Well, it didn't. I'm guessing this is just a promo.
And that was that video. Okay, let me go uh, play it back. Uh, I screwed up whenever I played it. Small, uh, large screen, full screen. And there you go. And that's what we have uh, looking forward to in TNA. Okay, on with the rest of the report. We have Jerry Lynn defeated independent wrestler Jason Cypress prior to Impact Wrestling's last night on Monday night tapings. Crimson uh, tweeted the following regarding uh, last night's TNA Impact tapings. Waiting for an MRI on the knee. I wouldn't miss Impact this week if I were you. Crimson apparently suffered a knee injury uh, during the main event match at last night's TV tapings. And following uh, his appearance on Impact Wrestling leading up to TNA Destination X pay-per-view, TNA has, has signed Tony Neese to a contract. Neese was trained at the New York Wrestling Connection School in Deer Park, Long Island. The school also produced uh, WWE stars such as Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. And the uh, word was that there was only one hour and 37 minutes of in-ring action at Sunday's TNA Hardcore Justice pay-per-view. Former TNA knockout Taylor Wild will be training an all-girls class of class of ages 8 to 12 for squared circle training in, in North York, Ontario, beginning in September. For more information, visit squaredcircletraining.net. This is her first wrestling-related gig since retiring back in early February. From uh, TNA Wrestling... And at tonight's tapings, uh, Ric Flair was backstage at the tapings in, tonight in Orlando. Unknown what if he was used, even even whenever I read it, uh, read uh, the results. Uh, but he stated in a recent UK interview that he would be getting back into the mix of things and hinted at working with the TNA champion in September. Well. And the current TNA champion is Kurt Angle, so I guess he's working with Kurt Angle. It appears that he'll be working with Sting or Angle, but we're not sure, sure yet. But when that re was reported, that was prior to the uh, pay-per-view. And in a dark match, Jerry Lynn defeated Jason Cypress from last night. And in, uh, last, uh, last night, the tapings uh, air for, airing for this week. Uh, the date August the 12th Impact started with Immortal Bully Ray, Scott Steiner, Gunner, Abyss and Ken Anderson 
But wait, wasn't uh, Abyss kicked out of Immortal from the pay-per-view? And also Ken Anderson? Well, it, and well, they, they were in the ring. Ray calls out Abyss and about how he has gone soft because all he seems to do is lose matches. Where he also mentions that there is going to be a Bound for Glory series match tonight. And it's going to be a four-way match with him, Gunner, Scott, Scott Steiner, and Crimson. Ray says that he is going to be to be winning the match because he is on the road becoming the world heavyweight champion. Ray then turned his attention to Mr. Ken Anderson, and he said he, he had he had to commend Anderson for being able to take some of some of the, the more brutal punishment that Ray had dished out in quite some time. As the promo progressed, Anderson started to laugh at Ray. Ray asked Anderson before Anderson had the opportunity to do anything. Ray Sider, Gunner, and Abyss attacked Anderson and beat him up to the point that he had to be stretched out of, out of the ring. Next up was the number one contenders match for the TNA knockout title. Mickey James defeated Matt Madison Rain. No word on yet whether to use the, the Mick Kick or, or anything else. Or the Springboard DDT or any of her, her moves. Okay, in a Battle for Glory series match, Beer Money defeated team, the team of AJ Styles and RVD and the team of Devon and D'Angelo De Niro when Rude pinned De Niro with a payoff. Rude earns the seven points for that win. Christopher Daniels was also was, was at the announcer's table with Taz and Tanae to, to provide commentary, but he went to the back before the match even ended. TNA World Heavyweight Champion Kurt Angle came to the ring to talk about his victory over Sting at Hardcore Justice. Angle apologized to Sting for what happened during the match with a chair after the nice talk that they had last week. Angle said he, he that he meant everything that he had that he said to Sting before Hardcore Justice. Angle did what he did at Hardcore Justice because Dixie Carter lied to him in the past about Je Jeff and Karen. Angle is not going to let Dixie ever get her, get her company back. Angle walked up the ramp and Sting came out onto the stage. Sting was attacked from behind with a chair by Hulk Hogan. Angle engaged on, uh, egged, on, egged on Hogan while Hogan attacked Sting on the ramp uh, to the ring with a, with a chair. Sting had to be helped to the back. In a non-title match, TNA knockout tag team champions Tara and Brooke. Brooke, uh, yeah, uh, that's her name, Brooke. Uh, her real name is Brooke Adams, but I guess they're going as Brooke Tessmacher defeated ODB and Jackie Moore when Brooke pinned Jackie. They showed a video of one of the, the new TNA signings, Mr. Spectacular, and that's uh, none, none other than Jesse Goddard from Big Brother fame, walking in the, in the back talking about how good he looks and, and how he deserves the best. He goes into, into catering and uh, he cuts Cuts in front of many of the wrestlers who are in line and trying to get their food. The wrestlers were not happy with them, but Mr. Protector ignored their complaints and he then saw some of the knockouts and he showed himself off to them. But the knockouts got disgusted with him and they walked away. Jeff and Karen Jarrett come to the ring for a promo. Jeff had the AAA Heavyweight uh, Championship. With him, as he was wearing the traditional Mexican clothing, including a sombrero and a serape. Uh, Jared then ins insulted Mexico for bringing out two Mexican janitors to ask them who the king of Mexico is. The janitors did not speak English, so they they say Q, K. To everything that Jared said, eventually they said Guerrero, that led to Jared attacking them. Hector Guerrero came from the Spanish announced stable area to help the janitors. Jarrett left with the rings, uh, uh, left the ring with when Hector arrived on the scene and Hector helped the janitors. And the janitors in this segment were none other than Florida independent tag team, tag team uh, known as Los Bendejos. And in the main event in a Bound for Glory series match, Crimson defeated Gunner Bully, Bully Ray. And Scott Steiner in a four-way match when Crimson pinned Gunner with a roll-up. The match was a three-on-one handicap match. What well, duh. After the match, Kurt Angle came to the ring and he attacked Crimson 
as the show ended. So I guess that's why they have the angle where his uh, he's injured, but it's just storyline. And they take ex- ex- explosion matches, or a match, and the explosion championship challenge match. Alex Kelly defeated Douglas Williams with sliced bread number two. Magnus joins Jer- Jeremy Borat as Taz and Taz at the announce table during that match. And now for your Impact Wrestling taping for 8-18-2011. Thanks to Eric for following Impact Wrestling spoilers for tonight. Tonight, tonight's taping in Orlando that will air next week. Sting opens the show with a chair in the ring. Sting says he, lo- he lost his mind. Sting says he and the fans want Hulk Hogan back in the ring and he wants a match tonight. Ric Flair comes out and they go back and forth on the mic. Flair says he wants to be the greatest in the business again. Flair says Dixie Carter can't pay him enough to, to wrestle enough, but he wants one more Sting match. Flair wants Sting to retire if he loses. If Sting wins, he will give Sting Hogan's ass on, on a platter. Sting accepts the challenge. Scott Steiner beat Brother, Brother Devon in a Bound for Glory Series match. Samoa Joe came out afterward and attacked Devon. Devon's kid jumped the railing and get, get in Joe's face, but he doesn't back down. Pope comes down and separates them. Ric Flair meets with Hulk Hogan backstage, and Hogan is pissed. Hogan want, wants Sting done by the end of the night and says he will never wrestle Sting again. Austin Aries won an X-Division gauntlet match to become the n- new number one contender. He beat Robbie E. Zima, uh, Zima Ion. As Robbie E. finally made his uh, return back in, in a couple of months. Kid Cash finally worked a, a match on Impact. Uh, Mark Haskins, a new guy. Uh, Jesse Sorensen. And Tony Nese made his debut. And Alex Shelley. It came down to Aries and Sorensen. Kid Cash ra- ran back in and laid out Sorensen. Aries did an interview with Chrissy Hemme. And said he, he's going to beat Brian Kendrick for the title. Bringing out Brian Kendrick to brawl with Aries. And then we have Mickey James defeating ODB. Miss Jackie, who was in ODB's corner, shook Mickey's hand after the match. Wow, so I guess she's turning face. AJ Styles beat Rob Van Dam by DQ in, a, in, a, in another Bound for Glory series match. Jerry Lynn showed up and pulled the referee out, out, out of the ring when Styles was going for a pin, causing the disqualification. Again, RVD and Lynn had words after the match. Again, similar to the pay-per-view. Crimson comes uh, limping to the ring and talks about Kurt Angle attacking him uh, from uh, this week's taping. Well, uh, being next week, it would, be, it would be previous week. Crimson calls out Angle, and here comes the world champion. Crimson says he's pissed, and Angle failed to take him out last week. Kurt calls him a nobody. Without Angle, he's a green little bitch. He says Angle says he has got nothing but disre- disrespect for the whole for his whole career from from the young guys. Crimson challenges Angle to a match for next week. Well, that's for three weeks. Mexican America defeated Beer Money to become the new tag team champions with the with the outside interference of Rosita and Sarita. They got involved, and Karen and Jeff Jarrett were on commentary. Karen ran down, and Je- Jeff then ran down, ran down the saber, apparently. Well, Jer- Jarrett threw his AAA world title in to Hernandez, and Hernandez hit Robert Rude with it while the referee was distracted for the win. The Mexican flag dropped down as the Jarrett celebrated with Mexican America to end the show. So, are they joining Immortal? Wait and see for the... The third week. And that ends my TNA taping results for this week and next week. Stay tuned for your NXT, WWE, SmackDown, and WWE.com Superstars report. Following this video.